Okay, so now we've successfully created uh, the interior. As you can see, we now need to get a collision. So this will be based on collisions, this video. <clears throat> so I have my voice went. So I've already made my DLC pack, which uh, I do have another tutorial for how to do it. I've put my interior in here, which is there. So now I'm going to go to 3DS and I am going to now make this an collision. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select each and every single section again, apart from this, I'm going to clone it. Okay, now I've cloned it. Keep them selected, right click them, add selection to new parent. Make sure you pick the parent, yeah? So now I'm going to put it in the collision folder. Right. I am now done with this version, I don't need it. I'm working now on the collision. What you want to do, select them all, go to your create an object on GIMS. Now you go on to collisions, and you make sure it's a composite, okay? If I remember rightly, on here, I oh know there's another one, sorry, where is it? If I look for another collision, let's say this is the Model Pero one that I've worked on. Okay, the bound type is a composite, and that's what we're working with. So that's what you need it to be, okay? So select composite, select it here. Same scenario as the model, it will put the pivot always to the center of the grid. This is why it's always best to build your interior, then centralize it once you're done. This is why I don't edit it around the ex that's why I edit around in the exterior then I'll cent cent centralize it so I can't speak today uh, and then I go from there same scenario again though select it all make sure you do not select your collision go to mesh modifier now you, you've given it your mesh modifier uh, I believe actually I didn't delete the old one so that's not a problem let's just collapse it all again and we'll start again so stick small Make sure you do not select your collision. Go to collisions, mesh modifier. That is your collision there done. I'm going to change the name of this to interior collision. Okay, so now when I export it, that's what the, the collision file name will be, right? So now I know I've got my collision there, it's all done, but before you do anything, because there's a little bit more stuff you need to do right you need to change the bvh yeah, to 0 0.02 you can't do the up and down with it because it'll do it to the nearest point okay so you need to make sure you manually type it in <clears throat> with the collisions you can attach them all because they don't have texture um, so as I've done the floor you can do your map vehicle and weapon map dynamic, animal and cover, yeah? As you notice, they're all map, okay? If you're using stairs, select the stairs option. Simple as that. <clears throat> okay, so what I'm gonna do, just to speed this up, I'm gonna attach all of this together, all right? So, back to that, attach the ceiling. Okay, so now, it's technically like one object, yeah? They've all got the same properties. If you go back onto here, just make sure this is selected using the children flags, okay? Um, and then we can go from there. So this is now done, I'm happy with this. But before you do, make sure you go back up to your schematic view. And now you'll see that this is connected to this still. So what you need to do, you need to unselect it, yeah? That's good. Now it's separate again. Yeah, this, this is this is all dotted out because I've hidden it. I don't want to. I don't want to use it. I don't want it to be seen. So it makes it stand out from the others. So now I know this is my collision. This is the composite. And this is let's say the model for it. Yeah, but it's going to be invisible, so you're not going to see the textures and stuff. So it's not a problem. So you just connect it. Now what you want to do? Export it. We've already done this one, so we don't need to do it. So now it's a mesh. As you can see, the model is a game mesh. Collision is a mesh. Okay. Just continue. <clears throat> That's your... So it is. Uh, I'm going to go back to the tutorial. 
I'm going to throw the collision into here. Now you can see it's a YBN, which is what we want it to be. Click it. You can see that it is. Oh, that's not done. I'm zoomed off. Here we go. And it is all there. Okay. So now that is your collision.